Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a big fan of Apple products. Not necessarily for like the hype or the popularity, but uh, I really like their accessibility features. And in today's video, I'll be talking about my favorite feature that has helped me as a legally blind person and be showing you how you can access this feature too. This is Josh with the Envision Vlog and welcome back to another video. And today we're talking about the full screen zoom. So what am I talking about when I talk about the full screen zoom? Well, instead of just zooming in on a window or zooming in on like a document that's just in a very uh, constricted amount of space, we're talking about taking any portion of the screen and then just zooming it in. Being a visually impaired person that does not really use a lot of the speech features, um, this, in my opinion, is a great way to provide a lot of access to what a computer has to offer. On top of that, it's also good if you lose your mouse. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we start throwing up screenshots and what. When I say I'm going to blow up any part of the screen, basically what I'm saying is that you can take any part of the screen on a Mac and then zoom it up. It's extremely beneficial when it comes to sections of the computer that you cannot zoom in using the typical pinch and zoom function. You can see we can go to a web page and then use the basic uh, pinch and zoom function where you just use two fingers on the trackpad and zoom and it zooms in just fine. But let's say you're following a tutorial that asks you to open up an application that you've never seen before. Now I understand we can look at icons and that can help us readily identify what an application is if you are a person who has low vision and isn't really using a lot of the speech features but you're not familiar with what the icon looks like, anything like that. The only thing you can go off of is the labeled text under the application icon. This is where the screen zoom can work really well. Like for example, the other day I was following a written tutorial and one of the instructions in the tutorial asked me to open up the preview app uh, on my Mac. I don't use the preview app, like ever. I don't know what it looks like. So as you can see, I have all my icons here open on my launch pad and I can tell what some of them are just because of what the icon is. Like I can tell what Safari is. Um, I know what Google Chrome looks like, iMovie, Photoshop. These are the ones that I use a lot. So one of the ways that I can easily find the preview app is to use this zoom function where I just go in and I can look around all of the screen, scan, and boom, I can find it. Another cool thing about the zoom function is that I can also use it to find my mouse if I lose it. That's just something that normally happens for me and I know you can make the mouse different sizes and all that jazz. But if you know my mouse is just somewhere off in left field and I can't find it, if I do it, boom, there it is. I can zoom out, now I know where it's at. So, how do you enable this function on your Mac if it isn't already enabled? First thing you're gonna wanna do is go to System Preferences and then click on the accessibility icon. Once the accessibility icon opens up, you're going to see a section that is labeled Zoom. And you're going to click that. Now, once you're in the Zoom section, you're going to see a little area with a checkbox that says Use Scroll Gesture with Modifier Keys to Zoom. You're going to go ahead and check that box. Once you check that box, you're going to see a little drop down selector where you have the option of choosing control, option, or command, and you can just pick whichever one works for you. Now at this point, your full screen zoom capabilities should be activated. So now all you need to do in order to do a full screen zoom is to hold down the key that you chose from that drop down menu, command, option, or control. And then with two fingers, you are going to swipe up or down on your trackpad, up to zoom in, down to zoom out. You can even go crazy with it and do like little DJ scratches on it. A wicked, 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 wicked. But this is one of my favorite features as to why I love Apple products, uh, why I think they are the most accessible. <clears throat> the full screen zoom capability allows you to uh, view any part of the computer that you do need to see and you're not just limited to whatever's in a browser window or things like that. So that's going to be it for the video today. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up on this video. Um, also, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I try to release at least one to two times every week. But I hope this video has been informative for you, whether you do have a visual impairment, maybe you know somebody, or you just want to use a feature like this um, you know, in your daily use of Mac products. 
I guess I should say Apple products. Oh well. This is Josh with the Envision blog. Signing off.